Hi everyone, hope you are having a great Friday. So I received these as happy mail last week and do, if you've seen my community tab or you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know what happened last week, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. Um, but cause I want the first part of this to be positive cause this is happy mail. Um, the lovely Sam, uh, Samantha sent me these and, um, I got them, I think at the beginning of last week and then the end of the previous week. And I was all ready to do a happy mail video and things just went, you know, completely, <laughs> completely, uh, dumpster fire after the start of last week. So I, um, hadn't been able to get it together to do this until today. But I really did want to showcase these. I figured Friday would be a good day to do it. Um, plus, just as another thank you to Sam. Um, these came at a time when I really needed them. <laughs> I've not had a chance to color in them yet. But um, it, was, it was a rare bright moment in what was a really, really hard time for me. Um, and still is. But these were definitely bright spots for me. And I just... It means a lot so again talk about all that at the end um if you do want to skip to that update i'll put a timestamp in the description um but the first part of this video is happy mail and we're going to be positive for this because um this is this is good news this is good stuff here all right so i got these three books this first one is uh color counts by mindware it is a color by number. You, um, if you've been looking at my Flip Through Fridays, I featured a couple of these. It could be a month or two ago right now, but um, I really like these. They are, um, they have different different types. I think the fairy tale ones, like the next one, I kind of want to get, but right now it's unavailable, um, at least on Amazon. So, Mindware does have their own site as well for these, so you can get them through Mindware themselves. So. Um, this is the animals version and of course it has a cat on the front so you know I'm already excited roughly letter size standard coloring book um, these do have a different number of images because a some of them are two page uh, layouts so I will put as I don't know off the top of my head how many images are in a lot of coloring books, I always put that in the description now, how many uh, pages there are to color. So here is the title page. You may hear a little thunder in the background. Um, we are definitely getting a bunch of storms. <laughs> so, um, so I'm sorry if you hear that. This is the uh, entry page. It kind of talks about how this works. Um, and then there are the MindWork color by number colored pencils that you can buy that correspond to this. But um, the few people I know that have purchased these have not been pleased with them. Um, I do think they have some fine liners maybe um, or some pens or something. But I know the colored pencils definitely have not, um, from what I've heard, are not great so just keep that in mind they do do other um types of color by numbers which i do want to try wild wonders and the mystery mosaics which i know is really popular out there on color two so we get started with the first page and we have a tiger and i'm already excited so the way this book works is you get one page with the colors here on the side i'll just flip it once so you can see pages are perforated right here so I can detach them and um, the color legend doesn't come with them. But then you get another copy of the image where you can color it your own way if you like. So, so this one has numbers and then this one doesn't. So you can color it any way you like. So you get some images like that that are one page and then you get these um, dual page ones that are fold out. These are really cool. I, I don't see these very often. I don't know if I've seen any that have this kind of fold out look to them. But this one's got some really cute pandas with it. Again, you've got one with the numbers. The 
legend is right here it's a little hard to see but it is there and then you've got your version without the numbers that you can color any way you like so, do -do. I think it usually goes one or two single-sided pages and then you get your fold out it would have been I think it would have been better to put all the fold outs together in the book but um, that might have been difficult just the way they're designed um, it might have it, this might have been the best way to make the book lie flat so have a giraffe here might be a little hard to tell these books have a unique smell to them it's not awful but it it's not I mean it's not like strawberries and cream or anything but I mean it's not absolutely you know it's not like sulfur or anything they just I think it's the type of printing press they use because these are printed by Mindware um, it's probably the type of ink and paper they use they just they have a bit of a smell to them when you first get them so just keep that in mind not a big deal to me you can just kind of air them out but for some people that are sensitive to smell you know FYI on that trying to figure out what's in this one what is this one can anybody see it I can't see it that might be the first one I do is just so I can figure out what this picture is of I was looking for eyes I don't even see eyes maybe this is just like a landscape type picture underwater maybe no there's a sun I think that's the sun it looks like a beach it's like a crab or something and here comes the rain my parents actually borrowed uh, the truck today because they needed to go pick some stuff up and I <laughs> I hate it for them I wish they could have waited for another day but they only have a limited time to go get it so looks like we have a horse and a colt here cats are not fans of the rain and the thing is it's not giving us any relief like the temperature is supposedly down but with the rain it is so swampy and humid and gross i love the rain i love the sound of the rain but i do not love the humidity that's coming with the rain right now this is the front cover which i really want to do this one too i'm i might just go ahead and do this one first so let's let's be realistic here I don't know cats are kind of hard to color right now for obvious reasons so I believe this is um, a toucan maybe it's a type of bird and we have another double page I like the frames around them too I think that's really cool um, I see birds so there's definitely birds in this one I don't know what else is in here but there are birds and then you have the I'm just going to briefly show that since you've already seen the image it's just the version with no numbers okay. whoops the number version wow these seem to be a little more of a puzzle to me except for a couple of them it's not super easy to tell what's in these which i have no problem with i kind of like that actually you have to figure it out as you go along i think there's at least a peacock yeah i see the feathers that's a peacock all right now another double page this one's underwater because i'm seeing fish here that's cool whoa wait a minute this one actually has numbers okay now wait a second did y'all see this this one has numbers but you fill them in yourself see I thought that's what the books had were they were numbered but Hmm. maybe they did a little different for this one who knows okay so yeah just keep in mind um for this one the ones that don't have a legend to them apparently they don't have numbers to them either up until the very last one yeah i don't know if that's a printing error or what but that's fine by me i mean no big 
no big deal on that just keep that in mind like check your books when you get them if that's something you prefer so if you prefer to have them numbered so that you can use your own colors just keep that in mind on this one this is the first time i think i've seen that happen so um no big deal to me but just as a heads up all right so next up we have coloring book cafe which i um am becoming more and more of a fan of lately is their books um and their coloring pages this is the farmer's market coloring book this is on amazon paper letter size um i'm guessing probably around 25 images is a guess i don't 100 percent know for sure but that's my guess here is the title page copyright and nameplate it is pouring Ooh. Looks like there's a free coloring booklet option as well. I just think these images are so cool. There's a good Thanksgiving one right there. These look to be a little more complex type images. Just FYI on that. They do tend to do a variety of though um, some of their books aren't as complex as others so yep if you were a big fan of like country life type pictures or uh, farm animals this is a good book as well that's cute with the little bunnies So I don't know, this seems to be, there's some farmer's market images in here. I don't know, maybe that'll change here in a minute. Okay, now we're getting some more of those. I was going to say, this is, this is speaking more to just farm, but I'm seeing more farmer's market type images. So I, I'm cool with that mix, and I love the way that little pup looks. That looks like a corgi, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, here we go. I was about to say, I was like, I'm not seeing many farmer's market images. That's cute. Which theoretically in a farmer's market, you would, you probably would have some farm animals for sale. Though I don't know if you'd be selling hedgehogs, but this is a cute picture nonetheless. I think that's a hedgehog. I don't know. My brain's not working all that great today. So bear with me. These are single-sided, as you can see, not perforated. Are the, are the geese trying to decide on which fruits they want? Like, they just can't make up their mind. That's sort of what that looks like. Like, they are perusing the goods for their own purchase. It is crazy. Like my small town, you would imagine we'd have a decent farmer's market with as many people that have gardens and such around us, but we actually don't really have one. The next town over has a fair amount, but around here, it seems like they have better luck um, consolidating into some of the bigger towns in the county. And, and I don't blame them for that. I mean, it's probably a lot easier and... Um, may make more setting up at a place like that than doing like a roadside stand or something this this cat's gorgeous like i said i'm a little hesitant on the idea of coloring any cats right now just that that's a tough area for me so i mean not that i color them a lot anyway i love collecting the books but y'all don't see me color a lot of cats but the other Happy Mail I got had cats in the book as well, and I was all ready to color in it, and now it's just kind of like, I don't know. Cat pictures are tough, y'all. Probably be tough for a while. But anyway. So yeah, this is, um, like I said, it's a really nice mix of actual, like, farmer's market type images, and then you also have, um, like, some different farm animals and stuff. So, extra page in the back. And finally, we have Camellia Angelcova. Hopefully I'm saying that right. This is 50 Springtime Mandalas. 
we uh, it says an Easter coloring book featuring spring mandala art, Easter egg designs, cute animals, and beautiful floweries. I have the summer mandalas, and um, I love her books. I, I think if you're looking for a good budget book to work out of, and you're looking for, you know, uh, a great number of images to choose from, and you're cool with Amazon printed books, uh, her books are always a really good price. Um, they're like four or five dollars for 50 images, and that's probably double what you get out of a lot of the other um, Amazon books. Uh, Amazon printed books that are out there right now. So um, I would say definitely if I had to pick, you know, the most budget friendly artist or coloring books, I would say her books are a good choice for that. And I'm not a big Mandala fan, but I like her books because they are, a lot of her images like this one here aren't like a super conventional mandala where there's a lot of pattern in the middle. There's usually like a really nice picture like this and then you have a kind of frame around it. So I dig that. I do like that a lot. Letter size, Amazon printed paper. Here's some examples here in the back. And then we will flip through. These are all one-sided. Let me check something real quick because I'm lazy. Okay, yeah, I just want to make sure I had it right. Shayna in Colorland is doing a Camellia Angel Cova um, color lawn next month for August. I was planning to do it with her, but and I'll explain more in the update, but anyway, I'm still going to participate in it, but I'm not going to be able to, I don't feel like I'm in a position where I can be a great co-host for this. So, um, but I am going to put her information in the description so you can go check her out. And like I said, if I do any videos this month, I will definitely be doing at least one video uh, coloring out of her books but that's that's a big if so this gives me another book to do that with i am i'm collecting like i said coloring book cafe um angel cova's books and um what else who was the other one eva carrera uh you've seen me show a lot of her books lately too i've been i've been a collecting lately Camellia Angel Cova actually has a newer release book out for, um, it's a, a book with gnomes in it. If you are a gnome fan, I would highly recommend checking that out. I love how she draws her cats too. I just think they're adorable. This, like I said, this is a great one for spring. And probably in the middle of winter when you're really missing spring. <laughs> or in the middle of humid summer where you're missing spring as well. Like the two weeks of spring that we get around here before it turns to summer. <laughs> this is a year-round kind of book. Like I'm constantly wishing for spring. I like the eggs with the patterns on them. So like I said, these mandalas are, a lot of these are a little more freestyle. And I, I dig that. I think I dig this a lot more than I do um, just a complete pattern mandala. Though I do have those as well, and you've seen me color those sometimes. You just gotta, you just get in a certain mood for something. I see a lot of gel pens and uh, ultra fine markers for a lot of these uh, egg related ones. I like this one a lot with the rain boots. I think that's cool. I think it'd be cool maybe to add some little raindrops as well there. I don't know. That might be overkill with the raindrops on the boots, but. 
just thinking out loud. I don't typically do a lot of Easter and spring pictures, and I don't know why. It's not, I, I enjoy, <laughs> I enjoy spring just about more than any other season. Like I said, the little bit I get of it around here, I just, I don't know. Never seen to gravitate towards it, so hopefully this will be um, a good opportunity for me to do that. And the ones that she does have some detail on, I don't, her stuff's not super complex and super detailed. Um, I would put it around medium in terms of wine art complexity. So, and plus with her mandalas and the fact that they're not, you know, it's not covering the entire page. I don't feel like it's a significant time. If I just want to color something and I don't want to put a significant time investment in it, these feel more like um, faster type images, though I'm still getting that really nice result that I'm looking for. If that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. It probably doesn't. It makes sense in my head, I guess. That one's cute. I like that one a lot. So yeah, I'll be coloring out at least one of her pictures this month just to um, definitely to participate in the color along, or at least for August. I'm talking like it's already August, which we're close enough, right? <laughs> oh, I like that one. Re little chicks pulling the carriage. I don't know, that one looks like fun. And with the eggs, I can get real bright and colorful. Y'all know I tend, to, I tend towards the really rich, vibrant, like, you know, purples and oranges and stuff. And this one gives me an opportunity to spread out a little bit and delve more into like some light pinks and yellows and blues and stuff. That one's cute. I like that one too. I don't know, just a big fan of her her books, definitely. Are these the ones? Oh, it's the miniatures. Yeah, the um, she's also been put starting a like spring and summer, summer miniatures. I'm hoping she puts out like an autumn and winter one as well. I suspect she will. Hope she will. There goes my stomach. That one's really cute too. I like the chicks and the lambs and the flowers and the edging there. Man, I'm really hoping next spring I'm in a position where I can really start working in my garden, like on my flowers and stuff. I've kind of let everything run wild the last few years. So, all right, here's some more books from the author. There are animal mandalas. She does have a lot of mandala books. So if you are a big fan of the real pattern mandalas and, and such, um, she has a ton to choose from. And then these are her more, I guess, freestyle books that aren't like mandalas or miniatures. Um, she has mermaids and unicorns. I think she's got a fantasy one now as well. And she's got uh, the gnomes one that just came out, by the way. Which I'll get, eventually. <laughs> I've got a lot of books sitting here. <laughs> so, and then here's a little about her. Um, find her on Amazon. This is her website. Um, I was trying to think. I think she's on Instagram as well. So, And there is that one. 
So again, thank you so much, Sam. Um, these meant a lot. Like I said, it was a unexpected um, rare bright spot in in a pretty rough period <laughs> of my life. And I just, if you're watching this, thank you and I, again. And I just, I really appreciate it. So, all right, where are we at? Okay, roughly the 25 minute mark. I'll try to remember that. Um, so yeah, quick quick just a little update and I'm only doing this just because I don't really want to record another video. <laughs> um, things are rough y'all. I, I mean, I'm sure none of you are surprised by that. Um, if you haven't seen it and you're wondering why I haven't been posting, um, I, it's been on the community tab on Instagram and Facebook, but, um, Annie passed away last Tuesday, Tuesday before last, and um, after just a long, long battle, and I cannot start talking about this because I'm going to tear up, and I just don't want to do that on this video. Um, as you can tell, it it has been hard. Um, if you've been following my color and chats, <laughs> I... It's, it's so difficult because I want to get on my color and chats and I want to be positive and, and happy and it, that has not been the case for a while. And I've mentioned I struggle with depression and anxiety and, um, really the last six months, um, year, two years, <laughs> um, if I guess if I'm really looking at the broad scheme, broad spectrum of it all, um, has just been weighing and weighing on me and losing Annie was just kind of like the final, <laughs> the final nail in the, in that, in that particular, um, mess, that final straw, if you will. Um, my depression last week was my week where I was just sad and, and I mean, I'm still sad, but like the depression's real y'all. Um, and I am struggling. I'm struggling a lot. Um, I'm posting some videos over on my gaming channel and that's really just because I don't have to talk about anything other than the game so it's a little easier but I'm struggling to want to play any games. Um, I haven't colored in weeks. We're not going to do a completed pages for July. I'm just going to roll that into August. Um, I do kind of want to color. I'm hoping I could start doing so a little bit, but, um, just, I haven't even wanted to read, and reading's like my go-to, and <laughs> all my coping mechanisms <laughs> are getting away from me, guys. Um, none of them are, are working. Um, coloring, gaming, even reading's not working. Sleeping at, at the absolute minimum is my is a coping mechanism for me. And every time I seem to sleep now, I have nightmares. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm struggling, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's the reason I haven't wanted to do videos. Um, again, I know I try to be kind of real in my videos, but. There's a difference between being real with y'all and talking about what's going on and then just feeling like I am being a complete drag and I wouldn't listen to me, much less want anybody else to listen to me. So, um, I just can't pull it together for one right now. Plus, I will start blubbering and y'all wouldn't understand half of what I was coming out of my mouth. So, um... Yes, I, I still meet with my therapist weekly. Um, we are kind of just in a... I feel like every time I have tried to get a smidgen, a smidge of hope or optimism, um, my return for that has been a massive kick to kick to my <laughs> kick to my crotch which I guess I guess as a woman it wouldn't be as severe as a guy but it's still pretty pretty bad and um I've had enough kicks to the crotch at this point that really just any any hope or optimism's gone I just any positivity that I had is gone and like I said because I'm in that mode right now I don't want 
to do videos because I don't feel like that's fair to y'all. That's why I don't want to participate or I don't want to host any color vlogs or anything right now because I just don't feel like I would be a good co-host right now where I'm at mentally. Um, that's not fair to y'all. It's not fair to me. Um, so I don't know when I'm going to start videos back up. I do have a few books that I might do a flip through Friday for next Friday. Um, if it happens, it's probably going to come out of the blue like this one. Um, but I just, I don't know when guys, and, I, and I'm sorry for that. Um, but right now I'm just... I'm trying to find a way to cope and all the coping mechanisms I have are not working and I really don't know what else to do right now. I'm just kind of here. Like <laughs> I, I'm existing is basically what I'm doing right now. So um, if you do message me or comment, comment please know I do see them um I try to heart them if I can so you at least know I see them um I did see all the ones from the community tab and I'm gonna go um look back through those again um but it's just it's hard if I don't if you ask a question and I take a while to respond or something please know it's not you it's just me trying to trying to deal and I have babbled I feel like about nothing for five minutes it's it's again it's one of those things where we're all this has been a dumpster fire of a year for just about everybody and um that that overall dumpster fire seems like there's been more fuel thrown on it um for me in my personal life in so many areas and i just like i said um just any sort of positivity or anything even just even just being content is is not really happening much right now so um yeah i <laughs> don't be don't be concerned it w it will get better i just don't know when so i i wanted to let you guys know but i didn't want to do a face-to-face -face one because i just look I look a hot mess right now um my face is i have rosacea and my face is really flared up right now because of all the stress and anxiety um so i just i can't do a face-to-face -face one plus i would start bawling and i just i can't do that so anyway that's what's been going on um again sorry i was trying not to be a downer but i that's why I wanted to wait and talk to you guys at the end of the video rather than at the beginning. So, um, because this, this was a bright spot for me and it still is. Um, and then, um, I mean, there, there's a little bit here and there. So I wanted to celebrate this, but I just, like I said, I want to be realistic. And if you don't see me out there, on Instagram or here that's why if you do see me posting videos on the gaming channel um, again that's mostly just because I can talk about the game and I'm not having to actually think about <laughs> everything else that's going on so anyway I guess I will talk to you guys like I said hopefully soon I hopefully we'll have a few books to do a flip through Friday next Friday um, other than that I have no idea what I'm doing next guys so um, thank you for your comments. Thank you for your support. Again, if I start talking about how much it means to me, I'm going to start crying again. And I just, I can't, I've got, I've got errands. I've got to run this afternoon. So, um, but just know it means more to me than I can really even express. Um, and, and like I said, I, I do see it and it does make a difference. So thank you. And I know I'm not the only one going through this kind of stuff right now and just I guess know that I'm thinking about you all too M numerous <laughs> a lot of y'all come up in my thoughts every day and I'm just kind of wondering how things are going and how you're doing just just know I'm thinking about you too and while it's hard for me physically to be there right now just know you know I am thinking about y'all so Anyway, um, that's it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.